good deal of sadism in my writing. I was preoccupied with violence, violence in my imagination. There was no violence in my life, ever. Maybe that's why I gave up writing music. I don't see that there's any alternative, really. People love to speak of the process of life as having a meaning. But that is a religious concept, really. It comes from it. It's an outcropping of a belief in supernatural powers. They were sort of that particular sort of the New England um, strain that has a sort of a horror of anything, about anything religious. On his way through the borderlands of consciousness, he had a fantasy. From, From the, the mountain, mountain behind, behind the farm, farm running silently over, over the icy, icy crust, crust of the snow, snow leaping over the rocks and bushes, came a wolf. Everyone was humiliated there at the house, except Gertrude Stein. But, I mean, she humiliated everyone. There was Alice Tuckless, who, of course, was constantly being humiliated. There was a line in one of my poems, and in between the rows of corn, the heated beetle pants. And she grabbed it. She said, now there. She said, why do you say that? And I said, well, it's an image. She said, yes, but it's false. Don't you see? It's false. Do the beetles pant? And I said, well, I don't suppose they could. No, they're insects. She said, that's right. I still think she was right. Not because she was Stein, but because she had, she had her own idea of what poetry was, and you don't make poetry out of falsities. I don't, I don't think you make anything much out of that which is false, no. Paul's most decidedly French. Of course, his culture was French. His background, his years in Paris, and the whole Gertrude Stein nonsense, language business, you know, knocking everything into a hat, the Dada business. It all had its influence. Paul started as a composer. He was a name in the 30s and 40s. After all, it's an extraordinary thing that one person should be a novelist and a composer. The music that I wrote long ago, I listen and I can't believe I ever did it. He likes to say that uh, if he sat and learned how to write large pieces, he'd have to sit in one place and do it, and uh, he couldn't travel. The music is lost and has disappeared and so that I find it more interesting. But when I was nothing but a composer, I itched to write. Paul Bourgeois, uh, surtout après, après l'indépendance, il est devenu paranoïaque. Il considérait les bars et les restaurants et les cafés comme des postes de police. There's a remark that Gore makes in his book. He says, to categorize is to control. Therefore, you don't categorize. The room was airless. I flung my clothes onto a chair and looked at the night table to see if the carafe of water was there. Then my mouth opened. The top sheet of my bed had been stripped back to the foot. There on the far side of the bed, dark against the whiteness of the lower sheet, lay Racky asleep on his side. And naked. You want me to describe myself? If I could do that, I would assume that I existed and that I was a person. And I've always assumed that I don't exist, that I'm not a person. Therefore, what applies to people doesn't apply to me. You know, it's a way of escaping.